Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. Please give us a few minutes for attendees to join the webinar. We'll be with you shortly. Hello and welcome to our Lambin webinar, where we offer the art of sound solutions. I'm Mark Rich, and with me today is David Castellanos, president of Lambin Acoustics, and Trisha Pilney, VP of sales for Lambin Acoustics. How are you doing, guys? Hi. Doing well. Excellent. So today we're going to be introducing Lambin's new line called Prima. Prima is a premium interior exterior product line that's going to uh, move perfectly well with the standard lamp and acoustics that we have, allowing you to take the beautiful sound isolation properties that we have done with our other products and move them to our exterior applications. And we're going to get into that with you right now. Quiet can be colorful. So again, Lambin is known for our interior design as far as acoustics. Now we're bringing that to exterior applications for you. Today, we're gonna go over what this is, what they look like, give you some inspirational photos, as well as get into a little bit of the colors and you know, overall aesthetic properties of these particular items as well. David, you wanna take this one away for us? Yeah, I'll go ahead and start. So the main reason we wanted to launch Prima was because of the demand of uh, people going outside. Just this morning, um, we we had a phone call um, uh, about a problem with the restaurant. Um, they needed acoustical panels, but they had to withstand the elements of the outside. So this is a great product for that. Um, it is able to withstand negative 20 to 180 degrees. We ended up picking 12 colors, and it's, um, it's meant to be um, used in the harshest environment. Black, silver, um, the, the silver gray and the white and the ivory are going to be your top uh, colors. We're going to be stocking those. Um, that's what we feel like are going to be the, the prime winners. Right. Yep, absolutely. So as you're seeing here on your screen, this will also be on our website. 12 primary colors, exactly as David pointed out. Great product, again, as you're seeing here on the screen. Designed interior, exterior applications. We're going to give you, again, some more ideas of what that interior, exterior application looks like. UV resistant, mildew resistant. So if you think of standard acoustics, most of the time, everybody looks at it and it's like, hey, it's an interior application, division nine finishes. That's not the question anymore. Now you can take Lambin acoustics anywhere, interior, exterior. Uh, this product, again, if you think of the material, best way to explain it is uh, the main sheet on a sailboat, the sailcloth. This is effectively a very similar material that's on there when we're talking about the strength and resistance. Obviously, it can hold up in those harsh environments. These panels, baffles, banners, they're all going to do the same for us as well with this Lambin Acoustics Prima line. Here, we're going to show you guys the different applications. So a lot of times we hear that, you know what, you don't need acoustics in an outdoor space. Well, that's not necessarily true. We have all been to outdoor venues. We've all had them to where, you know, you're talking or trying to talk to your neighbor over there. It's a little bit loud. Maybe it's just loud in general, or you're hearing the sound kind of vibrate around. Here in this particular application, you're seeing baffles be put in an exterior platform. Again, holds up to rain, snow, sleet, anything that's out there. It's meant to be an exterior product. It's going to help with that noise mitigation that's in there, uh, whether that be through neighbors or just noises in general. And actually, um, I'll let David get into the details, but before that, I'll talk about something fun. So. Uh, Tricia, when you look at these applications from a design aspect, from your history, what do you see and how do you see this looking and working in those environments? 
So we have listed out here a few applications um, that these will be great for the music venues, field houses, uh, rooftop lounges, great for rooftop lounges, especially with yeah. the uh, car noises, you know, from coming from below. Event tents are great. You know, a lot of people have uh, galas or weddings, these big events that they have in these um, large tents. These will be great for that because there are no acoustics whatsoever. And one of the really great things about these is not only does it allow for noise reduction, but it does create this visually interesting element um, that really improves the acoustical environment. So these are great for any of those applications. Um, and then I'll cover a little bit more on the specification. So, um, so these panels are usually baffles are traditionally at least 48 inches wide or 60, 96. Um, they have great noise reduction coefficient because you're you're hitting them from the face and the back. Um, all the components we're using here are able to withstand at least the 10, 10 years. So that's big to, to uh, mention. And you're getting really, really good NRCs at 0.80, which is 80% uh, of, of the sound hitting these panels will be absorbed. This is a class B fire rating material and they only weigh about uh, 0.3 a square foot. So on a traditional four by two, it's less than three pounds. Or something hanging right over. Okay. Excellent. Um, I just wanted to reach out real quick because I just actually heard from uh, somebody who's on this call. Um, please reach out in the chat if you can't hear us. Um, I just want to make sure that our sound and everything is working perfectly. Uh, if not, then we'll have to just do a quick restart on this bad boy. Um, so if you can't if you can't hear us, I mean, please let us know so that way it doesn't look like we're just you know talking and no one's hearing. Um, so at, excellent point, David, bringing it up exactly how it fits, how it works, um, and then also the different types of processes and you know um, how we look at manufacturing these products. And then of course, Tricia, bringing it up for those rooftop bars that you're seeing there, you know, exactly perfect. So here we're going to show you um, canary banners. These silver gray is particular um, what we saw. Um, what we're here, what we're showing you here is these banners. Sorry, it's just another text saying someone they could hear. So it sounds like we're okay. Um, these are being hung horizontally. Um, so different banners, different processes, different manufacturing types, right? So here. What you're looking at, class B rating. Again, exterior applications, class A, class B, where does it work? Where does it need to work? So when you're using an exterior product, typically class A is not required. Do we have that product? Yes, we are gonna show you in a, in a few minutes, um, but also sometimes it's not needed, so you can just have a standard class B product. This particular application we're showing you in Napa Theater. So this is gonna do great absorption, also, sometimes it can help with deflection in a certain regard, right? It can also cover the catwalks that are above. So when you're looking at these applications to add to the ambiance, to add to everything that is there, this can be used as a great design element for that, right? Not only is it helping with the noise mitigation or improving the sound that's in the space, but also, it can help for the design that we kind of talked about. Anything I missed, guys, on that that you'd like to add? No, the only thing I was going to um, add was um, I know with noise reduction coefficient, anytime you offset, you know, a wall panel off the wall, obviously you're going to get better NRC. This is the basically baffles, and this product itself, that's what it's kind of doing. So you're getting a 0.85 NRC. So it also a great. Uh, noise reduction coefficient. Standard mm -hmm. sizes are going to be your 4 by 10s and 4 by uh, 20s. Um, application wise, Tricia, do you want to touch on that a little bit more? Yeah, one of the really great things about this is, um, you know, just the design element of these. This is shown here in this amphitheater or music venue. Uh, but another great application is, say, an amusement park or something like that, because you, yeah. you can add a sense of shelter, shade make it a comfortable space for visitors to relax. And you also can add color to make the atmosphere a little more festive. Great point. I actually never even thought about the shade aspect. That's mm -hmm. kind of spot on right there. I really like that. 
here, different application, same product. Again, we're going to go over this, you know, giving you different ideas, different way to look at these products. Where is it going to go? How do you need it? Where does it work best? How does it work best? So here, wall baffles. We're showing here in Raven Black. Um, I'll kind of hit the highlights. David, you could talk about the application that was particularly applied here. So again, as you're seeing on the screen, 0.7 NRC, right? This right here, to, just to mention, you're going to see those little rivets at the top. The rivets are the attachment points. So if something happens, you need to take it off, you need to take it on. It just depends on your mounting style and how you're going to look at it and do it. Also, we can add more attachments and or less attachments. It's completely up to the customer. We will make recommendations and give you guidance. Um, but at the same time, it's part of your design element, which, David, take it away. Get into that one on this one. Yeah. So. Um... As you guys already know, if you attach something right directly onto the wall, you're going to lose a little bit of that NRC. The, um, the baffles and the, the banners had um, both uh, faces kind of uh, absorbing a little bit more sound. That's why you're kind of seeing the 0.70 NRC, so it drops just a little bit. Standard sizes on these products are going to be 2x4s, 4x4s, 4x8s, and all the way up to a 4x10. And again, these are lightweight. Um, 0.3 pounds per square foot. Yeah, good point. Yep. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, Trisha, take it away. Yeah, I think um, <laughs> these actually could be add a really great architectural sense in creating your depth and create texture in any type of architectural style that you have. Um, and this is showing as outdoor applications, but you could use these as well on indoor pickleball courts that are coming up everywhere um, and really help reduce the noise that is heard outside of the space as well. Mm hmm excellent quilted quilted absorber panels what does that mean so if you take a look at the fence that's in the background right there you're looking at a particular diamond pattern so instead of having it be a little bit smooth so again we have two different applications and again you can see this on our website but the quilted version is going to have this really great symmetric diamond pattern that's put on the panels as well as a little ribbon that kind of goes around it almost like a picture frame or a border why do you want it? Where do you want it? So it's just a different product. It's doing about the same NRC ratings, um, just a little bit slightly more of a design. And then with it, you can take the colors and add the application. So you can use it because of the stitching, you can get a little bit of contrast, right? Uh, or you could simply want to put it horizontally, vertically. Again, really the main difference here is it just has that diamond pattern, basically the exact same product using the same applications, basically, again, different designs. So here, we're showing you in a pool setting, you put it up on the walls, typically you have nice concrete walls, but as we all know, sound is just gonna hit on that wall, bounce right back out. Pool areas are always very loud. If you've ever been in an indoor pool, it's 10 times as bad. Um, this product works well in those environments, so that's why we're kind of showing you here. Next one we're gonna show you, a little bit of an outdoor, I'm gonna let Tricia speak on this one. Go ahead, Tricia. So these are really great. So in the image before we had the rooftop pools and patios, so they not only enhance the acoustic performance of your space for say events or parties, um, but it also adds this visually striking um, element to the architectural style of this. And what's great about these is they can be retrofitted back into a space. So if you mm -hmm. have an outdoor patio or you have a pool or uh, an event space that the acoustics are just not right, you can always add these in after the fact. So they're really great to take to your clients or take to your projects and to be able to put them back in after it's completed. Yeah, I like bringing up that point in particularly because there's spaces where somebody it wasn't in prior in the design element. So it's the afterthought, which happens a lot for acoustics. And this is one of the easier buttons you can push. As far as adding acoustics, something that was kind of brought up in prior conversations as well is choosing different colors. We have 12 colors, so you can mix and match some colors. Um, or quite simply, if you like the design, you like the pattern, but you want to change the mood and the feel from time to time, it's the same panels, same dimensions, choose different colors, and you can swap them out with whatever project happens to be going on or what feeling or uh, emotion you want to evoke in the space as well. Or if it's in a party environment, meaning catering and such, you can have different color choices for your clientele. And then just a couple more uh, details on, on this product itself. They're a little bit thinner than your your absorbers. Um, they're probably 
about half an inch thick and they come in four by eight and four by ten sizes so those are going to be your standard sizes for these yep yep we can do custom um definitely it's easier if you stay within the standards because that way when you need to order some more later on or panel happens to go bad nice and easy but if you do need custom you need a contour you need to cut out of course we can do that for you as well something that trisha brought up pickleball courts nailed it got it right here so it's a big question it's been popping around a lot and you know what um trisha since you mentioned i'm gonna let you take this one over well these are really great because i know everybody in all the communities across the country pickleball courts are coming up everywhere every county city is building a new pickleball court and these are great because it helps improve the uh, the sound reduction for the, not only the players that are on the court or the people who are outside of the fence line, um, but it's as well as the others, it's this visually appealing um, part of the project that you can include as well. Um, and it does help the players as well when they are playing, it's a lot quieter on the court for them. You don't have as much reverb or much of that like, high pierce um, uh, pinging of the ball when it's going back and forth, whether it's tennis or pickleball, but these are great for any of those that are coming around the country. Go and ahead, then, David, and you got something to say. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. So, you know, my wife is a, a middle school teacher and she's twi uh, teaching swim right now. So she, she asked me, you know, hey, do you have a product that, you know, can uh, absorb and block sound? You know, it's right next to a, a busy street. And I said, actually, I do have something that's going to serve as a privacy screen. It's going to reduce your, your um, noise transferring to about 50%. So these are ideal for something like that. They do weigh a little bit more at one and a half pounds per square foot. Um, NRCs are noise, your noise reduction coefficient is going to be uh, your 0.60. And they still have an STC rating as well. They do. They do. So um, again, this product, it is designed for the outdoors. Uh, I believe we tested up to about 140 mile per hour winds that the grommets will hold up to. Something that David brought up earlier is making sure if you do install them on a fence and a wind gust does come up, make sure the, print, the fence is properly supported. So, cause it's effectively almost acting like a wall at that point in time, there's not gonna be anywhere for the wind to go. Um, take that into consideration. Again, you can space out the panels, you can make them different sizes, you can do whatever you wanna do. We're here to work with you and work through your product or just simply work through your application and advise which one would be best for your particular needs. And what, one thing to know is these are class A fire rated. Um, um, yes the barrier septum and the next product itself are classic. That's right. You got it. So I'll show you right here. Go. Barrier backed absorber. Do you want to go into the differences on this one, David? Yeah. So the, the main difference is the mass loaded vinyl will be on the back of these. Um, the one previous, it's, it's sandwiched right in between. So you're going to see both the, the stitching on, on both sides. So um, these are meant to go up against the wall, um, and they'll be the the, the mass of vinyl will come in either gray, black, or tan. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So to get to go through that point again, um, if you haven't been aware of our product, so there's basically a piece of fiberglass, a piece of mass loaded vinyl, another piece of fiberglass, stitching on both sides, which the ones that we showed you on the pickleball court, so it looks beautiful on both sides, does not matter where you put it or how you orient it. This particular product has a piece of mass loaded vinyl and then the stitching on it. So one side will look like just vinyl. The other side looks like exactly what you're seeing on the screen. Nice quilted mass loaded vinyl. These products, again, looking at them, looking at applications, every time we get asked, do you have a product for X, Y, and Z? Anything revolving any type of moisture, any type of sound, any type of cleaning that might need to be done later. Um, think of machinery, think of pool equipment, think of inside of a pool. That's where this product serves best. Can it be used in an architectural environment for someone who's looking for an industrial look in their space? Absolutely. Again, great product for that because it's held up by grommets. grommets. You can take it, hang it, put it up, you don't like it, take it off the wall, it's very easy, right? This is a, this is a very easy solution for an acoustical need. Um, any and all of those needs, we can certainly serve. Um, 
And Mark, okay. I can see these being used not only in the corporate office, retail, you could even include them in multifamily projects. Sure, absolutely. Distribution centers, multifamily room uh, projects, sorry. Yes, you can certainly do that. Uh, it's not really limited, so let your brain kind of go crazy. Well, everybody, thank you so much for attending our Lambin webinar on our new Prima line. I'm Mark Rich. With me today was David Castellanos, president of Lambin Acoustics, and Trisha Pilney, our new VP of Sales. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Never ends for me.